Wow, what a night this should be. We are going to crown a new individual world champion in timber sports, and we are going to see some epic competition here next. Welcome to the 2019 Steel Timber Sports World Championships in historic Prague, Czech Republic. Today is the biggest day of the year for the Steel Timber Sports Series. This day, we crown a world champion. 12 national champions from around the world will compete in six disciplines in front of a rocking crowd to determine who is the best of the best in lumberjack competition. It's gonna be an amazing show put on by these incredible elite competitors and you won't wanna miss it. That man right there, 2019 U.S. Champion Cassidy Shear. He's here for the first time representing the USA after his incredible win at U.S. Championships, and he is amped up. He is ready to make some noise. Was it easy for him to win this year? Took a fall in the springboard and had a DQ in the hot saw in qualifying, but ultimately he held on to claim his first national championship. Shear arrived a week early in the Czech Republic to acclimate, test gear, and train for his world championship opportunity. Now he's ready to hit the stage here in Prague and put on a show for this loud, boisterous crowd here cheering him on. Let's take a look at how he's prepared for this event. We are here in Tisic, Czech Republic, about an hour and a half south of Prague. I'm doing a lot of axe testing right now to best be prepared to match the right axe to the wood that I get on Saturday. So yeah, it's a trial and error process. Fortunately, I brought about 12 axes, so I have options. It's always important in timber sports is to get experience on the wood that you'll be using for the competition. Uh, this here, this is a hybrid poplar, and we don't really have anything that cuts like it in the U.S., so we're testing axes, we're figuring out the texture of the wood, how it likes to be cut when it's on the soft side, how it likes to be cut when it's on the hard side. If I go out and I nail all six disciplines for the individual championship, I expect to win. Um, if I don't, then I probably won't win. So I'm just going to take it 1-0. I feed off positive energy from my teammates, and uh, my expectation is, is a good time, and a good time and a good performance will result in some championships. Well, if Cassidy is to claim the title this year, here's what he'll need to make it through. The competition will start off with 12 competitors for the first round, which will see the underhand chop, the stock saw, and the standing block chop. After that, only eight will advance to round two to contest the single buck and the springboard. And finally, the last six competitors left standing will compete in the hot saw. The last man standing through three rounds will be crowned the 2019 world champion. Two consistent guys we're about to see coming up. I wouldn't expect any blazing times, but possible new leaders. Well, you did mention that Cassidy Shear has taken two years to get to this position here, and I was talking to a few of the American uh, team guys, and they were all like, wow, this guy is amazing. So we're expecting big things from Cassidy Shear, but he's going up against a legend in Christoph Geisler as they both come onto the stage. Christoph Geisler from Switzerland on the stage left as you see him preparing his acts and getting his first few practice swings in. Cassidy Shear there with that party in the back, business in the front, and he's gonna be all about the business here, but he seems pretty relaxed all in all, given the camera, the you know, the old winky eyebrows as uh, they were introducing everybody. He's very confident. So. Told Cassidy to be careful and uh, put a couple extra hits in if he needs to, don't just pattern chop, so. Take place. Ready. All right, here we go. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go! Oh, huge hookup by Cassidy Shear. Giving a good block. Advantage. Look at the chips flying out of Cassidy Shear's block. He's drawn another good one. If yeah. he can get under 20 seconds, he's going to give himself an awesome chance going forward here. And he's already moved over to the other side, but Christoph Geisler moved right there with him. Christoph Geisler. Driving, he's off! Oh, massive hits there. And that is a great time of 1858, moves into the lead. But Christoph Geisler with a 21.06 unofficially sitting now in third place. So Cassidy Shear in the lead, 
Barry Swan moves down into second place, and Christoph Geisler sneaks in between Shane Jordan and Barry Swan in third place. It looks like no flags on the play, but Cassidy Shear actually took the exact same route to Timber Sports as I did. He was a, 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 a actually a speed climber before he got into this, climbing the big tall poles, but just a natural athlete, and he's applied that to get to where okay, he is today. congratulations. Both cuts are good. And we saw that ax get hooked up really big time on that first blow. Imagine, had that not happened for him, he might have been a second to two seconds faster. Yeah, he's guaranteed himself no worse than sixth place. Yeah, I mean, pretty much. I, I did need that last top ship hit. I hugged the ax once, but I mean, 18 to 8, good fast time. Uh, beating Shane Jordan was big. Um, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Got the jitters out. It's all good. He did exactly what he planned on doing. Eight in the front, ten in the back. Beautiful cut. A good start for our U.S. champion, Cassidy Shear. That cut should have him in the top five after the first discipline. We'll pick it up when we return. Steel Timber Sports on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Steel, maker of a full line of gasoline and battery-powered handheld outdoor power equipment. Find yours at SteelUSA.com. By Duluth Trading Company, the official workwear sponsor of Steel Timber Sports. And by John Deere, nothing runs like a deer. Welcome back to the 2019 Steel Timber Sports World Championships. We just saw U.S. champion Cassidy Shear get his competition underway with a good cut in the underhand chop. The crowds have been just great here in Prague this week with so much support for all the competitors and the U.S. contingent has definitely turned out to support Cassidy Shear in a big way. Uh, we are here in Prague for the Steel Timber Sports World Championships and uh, I'm here to support Team USA, Cassidy Shear, and also to represent the Lumber Jills back home who would love to be here competing on this stage. You always got to watch out for the big four, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the U.S. Uh, the Poland competitors really strong physically as well as at the events, but I still got to believe that the winner is going to come out of the big four. He's put a lot of work in this week, and um, I really, if he puts, if he pieces together a good night, he's, he's going to take home the trophy, the goal automatic. The way the uh, point system set up, it favors the latter three events. Um, and Cassidy is pretty good in those latter three events, so anything can happen. Yeah, Braden Meyer and Shane Jordan are two guys to watch for sure. Braden steamrolled the chopping in the Australian series, which has the most depth at chopping by far. But I think if, if Shane, Ben, or Braden or I cut the hot saw clean, one of us four is gonna win. And now our next two competitors come out onto the stage. And the one guy that I'm really impressed by is Braden Meyer, who I haven't, I haven't seen anybody really hammer an underhand chop quite like Braden Meyer since I saw him at the Champions Trophy in Austria a few years ago, and this kid is just incredible. The last time we saw Braden Myers on the individual world championship stage, which is Poland, back in 2015, he actually did break that world record, the new time, currently standing at 12.39 seconds. I don't know if we quite have the wood for that to happen again, but he's still riding off the high of Australia's gold medal run yesterday in the team. Yeah, he did cut the underhand, and he was instrumental in bringing home that gold for the team as he has been every single year. So if we're gonna see a world record, it's that man on stand B that's gonna give it to us. All right, Pierre Pouy Barre okay, on stand A in the blue. Let's go. Athlete is ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. All right, watch the pace that he uses. Oh my god. Eight hits that in the is front. Unbelievable. He's around at the seven second mark. He's going for it. It's Brayton Myers going for the drive, looking for the oh! win. One last hit will do it for him. Unfortunate time for Pierre, 31 seconds as he is dead last at this point in time. Oh man, but Braden Meyer 
You said it was like a seven hit one side and that is unbelievable moving around to the other side so quickly. Yeah, and that was just a run of the mill. Nothing special cut for Braden Myers. He knew yeah. he just had to go out and he just had to get the job done. He didn't have to go out and try and break any records. He was going for the points and that's what he's done. Braden Meyer, just so impressive there. He wins the underhand chop and takes the overall lead after the first event. And there you see our U.S. champion Cassidy Shear not far behind, though third place after the underhand. Not a bad start for his first ever world championship. I mean, I'm pretty tied into my pattern. It's, it, it gives me options. But if I see guys before me that aren't as good as me or ripping it off in the same hit pattern I would do, then I might, I might go more aggressive. We got two more events to go, so stick with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the 2019 Steel Timber Sports World Championships in Prague, Czech Republic. We got a great crowd here, and we are through our first discipline, the underhand, won by Australia's Braden Meyer. Now we're ready for our next event, the Stock Saw. We send it back from the call. Well, all right, up next we've got Australia's Braden Meyer, who we just saw destroy the underhand chop, and he is going up against Poland's Mikhail Dubicki. Yeah, now, Michael Dubicki, a little bit of an unknown. If I'm not mistaken, it's his first time as an individual athlete on this world stage, so I haven't seen much of him running the stock saw, but, uh, you know, as long as his biceps don't get caught on his chin going by... <laughs> Warm up your swords! As well, these athletes are looking for two complete discs. If they do happen to cut out on an up or a down cut, they are allowed to go back and place another disc in, but it has to be within that 10 centimeters of wood as we get ready for our second heat. And that's also going to destroy your time if you have ready. to recut a disc. Three, two, one, go! Wow, Miko Dubicki on it fast. Good pressure. And even in the whoop, Braden Meyer just a tiny bit ahead of Michael at this point, but look at the thin disc of Michael. Oh, oh yeah. By Braden Meyer, 10-61. Yeah, as we see, dead even starts by both their athletes, but a difference on the angle of the saw. As you see Braden Meyer change the angle of that saw as he gets prepared, he starts with the angle upwards. That's so he can get that saw into the wood and throw in sawdust as quickly as possible. So you see the saw pointing downwards now, so we can apply even pressure all the way up. You see him take a little peek over there at Michael Dubicki. That's the first thing you want to know <laughs> is, did I at least beat the other guy on How's stage? How's he doing over there and is look the question. Good. Yeah, it looked good. Both cuts are good. Well, that's good news for both of those guys. Both cuts are good. Yeah, beautiful races we've seen thus far. Well, now we've got uh, Cassidy Shear and Elgin Pugh about to take the stage. Yeah, Elgin Pugh with a personal best at 10.6. Now that would slide him into uh, third place at the moment. So if he, he's going to have to cut a personal best if he's hoping for a win in this next event. Athletes, ready! Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go! All right, good start by Elgin Pugh. His is a bit thicker on disc-wise than Cassidy Shear, but they both drop at roughly the same time. The upstroke goes looking good for Cassidy Shear as he's going to win this one with a time of 11.73, and Pugh that. has an 11.76. How close is that? I cut clean. Fifth is not going to be where I want to be, but that event's over. The only event that matters now is the uh, standing block, and I'm ready to cut the standing block. That happens that that event's over. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like that, like that event's weird. Like you, you, anybody can win it. Anybody can DQ every day. That's an event where moves happen. But again, like like that's over. I'm going to go focus on the standing block now. Now, we'll just mention it as well, too. When we do move to that second round, the points will be doubled. So with our eight athletes, first place will now be getting 16 points, second place will be getting 14, 12, and so on, as we see our live rankings updated there with Braden Meyer yep. in first place. And uh, we saw Cassidy Shear dropping down along with Miko Dubicki, Elgin Pugh, and Cohen Martins dropping down as well. Cassidy Shear still holding on in sixth place after that stock saw cut, well within striking distance of the lead, as his best events are yet to come. Up next, he'll take on the standing block chop and look to make his move up the overall leaderboard. Stick with us.
Steel Timber Sports on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Steel, maker of a full line of gasoline and battery-powered handheld outdoor power equipment. Find yours at SteelUSA.com. By Duluth Trading Company, the official workwear sponsor of Steel Timber Sports. And by John Deere, nothing runs like a deer. Welcome back to the 2019 Steel Timber Sports World Championship in beautiful, historic Prague, Czech Republic. We have two disciplines in the books now, and U.S. champion Cassidy Shear is in sixth place. This action gets underway in the standing block shot. Tension has ratcheted up considerably here as the competitors look to make the cut into the next round. And Cassidy Shear looking to make his move up the leaderboard, knowing his best events are still ahead of him. To tell us more about the next event, here's Dave Jewett with the Duluth Trading Company Discipline Review. Athlete versus tree, their goal, sever a 12-inch log. This is a standing block. The standing block mimics felling a tree with a racing ax as fast as possible. When the gun fires, you have to chop halfway through the log. In order to do that, know the log, be familiar with your equipment. The best athletes will put 10 to 12 hits in the front. The elite athlete will put six to seven hits in the front. The turn is a four-step motion with speed, minding the chips on the ground, which you've removed. Run to the back side with no hesitation. Open up the back with confidence, making a split decision. Do I take another chip for safety, or do I have the confidence to drive this log off? All right, Christoph Geisler and Cassidy Shear with that crazy grin of his up on stage. Let's see how he does in this particular event. Now, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if uh, Cassidy takes the uh, approach consistent with his haircut, you know. I believe we called it the mullet cut. You know, you do the business in the front, putting a few more hits in the front so you can go around the back and party. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one, go. Christoph Geisler also very strong in this event. Depends on the technique that he's going to use. Is he going to go for the short front side? No, both of them going around to the other side at the same time. Cassidy Shear, big slap just came off of his the block drive. there. And he gets oh! it! Wow, 15-4-6. He just beat Ben Cumberland by a couple hundredths of a second, and he just celebrated right there. That fast performance is our John Deere power play. Nothing runs like a deer. Was that a moment of throwing down the gauntlet or what? As we see Captain America here putting in an eight hit front. A lot of power Cassidy's putting in, taking a little bit of angle off on the top. But what that does is it ensures that he does not stick on those down hits. Christoph Geisler, the, uh, the professor over here, we've seen him here cutting on this stage for the past, I don't know, at least 10 years. Minimum. He knows what he's doing. Cassidy Shear here, maybe should have come up one more in the near, but there's no time for that if you're looking to take home a world title off of either of these uh, these big dogs. Absolutely so. not, but we still have not seen Braden Meyer or Shane Jordan cut. Both of these guys should be very strong in the next one here. There's some confidence right there. We call it swagger in the biz. Swagger it is. Christoph Geisler, no slouch, by the okay, way, at 17.83. So he is in fourth place at standing drop, at standing block chop. And by the way, sitting in third place overall in the standings at the moment. So a good solid positioning for him. Ben Cumberland at the moment in the lead with 29 points in the overall standing with Cassidy Shear and Christoph Geisler respectively in second and third place, both having 26 points. I feel good. All that, all that matters right now is a single block. I'm going through my list of things that matter, things I need to focus on in the single block, and I just want to go cut a good single block. Yeah, I mean, for the, for the first three events, yeah, I, I, I was going to be happy to come out of those with fourth or higher, and I did that. So, yeah, that's great. Stock saw I didn't get what I wanted, but uh, that's over. It's time to single block. Yo-ho! What you're about to watch here is uh, two of the best standing block cutters in the world go head to head. Australia's Braden Meyer taking on New Zealand's Shane Jordan. If I had to bet, I would say I'm not going to bet. <laughs> All right, let's see how this Australasian battle goes down between New Zealand and Australia. Okay, gentlemen, athletes ready. Stand to your timber. Three, two, one. Go. Keep an eye on these fast hits. Oh, a quick stick by both of these guys. And look at this. 
They are timed with each other, moving Six to the other side. The They're going for it. Braden Myers got the log, though. He's going for the drive. Braden oh! 12-6-2. Shane Jordan just dropped a personal best as well. And Braden Meyer with an incredible 12-6-2. This is an experiencing on Braden Myers' part. He put the tough part of his log in the front. You see the slabs coming off of that log. That comes from years and years of experience. He's only 24 years old, but he's he's been around. He's, been he's around. done this event many, many times. So you see the difference in the chips coming out of the blocks here. That's experience on Braden Myers' part, putting the wood that he knows is going to break on the back side of his log so that when he gets around, this block comes off six and six. He's got the mow and he's ready to go. Both cuts are good. Wow, Braden Meyer, his third win of the day. He has won every discipline so far in this competition. He takes a commanding lead in the overall standings and may, just may, be looking to sweep the wins in this competition. But look, right there, fourth place, Cassidy Shear, the U.S. champion. He's holding on after a great cut in the standing block. He's hugely confident in his chances to win the last three disciplines, so don't count him out yet. Well, that is our show for now. Thank you for watching the 2019 Steel Tipper Sports World Championships. Join us next time to see if Cassidy Shear makes a history here in Prague. See you then.